Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. Today I recommend watching a video by a New Zealand guy called John Key. John Key is a politician. He's the leader of the National Party. The National Party isn't in government at the moment, so John Key's title is the leader of the opposition. So he wants to be the Prime Minister. And a couple of months ago he started video blogging on YouTube, which I think is a great idea. It gives people a chance to hear his policies, ideas, plans, and people can give feedback via comments or video responses. So I thought I'd make a video response and tell him what I thought of his videos. So, hi John. I quite liked your first video, which was Two Minutes with John Key. I saw that just after you put it up a couple of months ago, and I like the style. I think you came across pretty well. Friendly, relaxed, and positive. But today I went back to your channel and I saw your latest one, which was John Key in the house. And I wasn't so impressed with that one. Firstly, I think it was kind of lacking substance. I don't think there's anything wrong with criticising Helen Clark's speech, because that was the point, you were giving a response. But it seemed like you were too concerned with trivial things, like she used one word 34 times, or her speech was 30 minutes instead of an hour. I would have preferred more specific analysis of the Labour Party's policies, and why exactly you don't think they're working, and how you hope to change it. I thought some of your points were illogical, and I don't think talking about the murdered woman was appropriate. You seem to be using her death to get political points, which I don't think was fair. I think that just because she worked in the sex industry, and she took illegal drugs, and she had children when she was young, that doesn't mean that she's a different class of person. She was just a human, just like you and me, and sadly she died. And if, when she was alive, you wanted to encourage her to pursue a different career or partake in more healthy recreational activities, then I don't think calling her underclass would have helped her at all. I know you have a strong financial background, which is great, but I also hope that you think more carefully about the power of language too. And I hope you think a bit more carefully about what effect labelling people as underclass will have on them. Also, I think your presentation needs work. Even if I disagreed with everything that you said, I'd be happy to listen to you if you spoke in a calm and clear way. The way you delivered your speech seemed like it was an end of year speech at a rugby club or a wedding or a 21st speech. Like you're more interested in making people laugh than saying anything intelligent. I think humour is important and effective when you're making a speech, but Maybe you said just a few too many jokes. Especially because you were talking about such serious things like child poverty. And yeah, thousands of kids in New Zealand don't get an adequate diet. And it's not funny. But you came across as kind of sadistic, like you were really enjoying saying those statistics. Actually, to be perfectly honest, it kind of sounded like you were drunk. I mean, I don't think you were, but just your delivery made it sound like that. So, yeah, maybe you could try calming down a bit, don't move around so much, don't say so many jokes. And, good luck! Kia ora, this is Stick News. A man in Kyushu was arrested after he stole an iPod and accidentally called the place where he stole it from to find out how to work it. Last Friday, a 23-year-old man went to a job interview at a second-hand shop. While he was waiting for the interview, he saw a jacket that he liked and decided to steal it. After the interview, he went home and found there was an iPod in the jacket. He was pretty happy about this, but he didn't know how to use it, so he rang a company to find out. After this call, he got a call from the second-hand shop telling him he didn't get the job. He was still confused about the iPod, so he decided to call the company back. Unfortunately for him, he got the incoming and outgoing call histories confused, and accidentally called back the second hand shop. He didn't realise his mistake, and explained he was ringing about how to use an iPod. When the second hand shop employee realised his jacket was missing, he put two and two together, and the thief was arrested. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 21st of February.
Kia ora. Forty-five. Since November last year. Since two thousand and two. He was an investment banker. He worked for Merrill Lynch. How old is John Kerr? How long has he been leader of the National Party? How long has he been a politician? What did he do before that? Who did he work for? How old is John Key? 45 what does he do? He's a politician. What did he used to do? He used to be an investment banker. Which party does he belong to? The National Party. How long has he been the leader of the National Party? since November last year. And that was the Daily Mission. See you tomorrow. Bye.